Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the next installment of G-Star Vault. It's a micro G-Star Vault. It's a really short one. Um, yeah, and it's called OMG. Is that a UAP? And only you guys can decide that. But before we get into it, please, as always, like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of this or the Monty Zone. Right, so, OMG, is it a UAP? Um, this footage was shared with me by a viewer, one of our really loyal fans of uh, both the Monty Zone, the TNG Review, and G-Star Fault. It's our good friend, Mickey Early from Northern Ireland, who shared this video with me. And I, it dropped with me whilst I was in work. And I only managed to watch about 15 seconds of it. And I was like, God, this is interesting. I will do a vote about this. And here we are. So we're going to get straight into the footage. We are... Um, I haven't watched it a great deal myself, so uh, we'll be kind of almost like watching it together. And I think with this footage, it's probably going to be more relevant to point out what it couldn't be rather than what it could be. And as usual, we'll run through the A-Cart model. And if you're new to the A-Cart model, you'll pick it up along the way. No problem. Let's get right into it. Hokely dokely then. So the first time around, I wanted to play it to you with the audio and um, because I think that's an important factor and we'll get to that in a bit. Um, if you're like me, when you watch this footage in the first sort of 10 to 15 seconds, you're kind of thinking to yourself, it's a lot of things that are easily explainable. And then about 15 seconds in, something happens that goes, well, <laughs> hold on a minute, this isn't as easily explainable as I initially thought. Okay, so I think the best way to analyse this footage is with the uh, tried and tested and trusted uh, ACARTS model. But before we do go straight into that, let me just say that this video was uploaded uh, to Facebook uh, apparently in uh, November of 2018. Uh, so it's not brand brand new. It had a, what I presume is Spanish title, um, but... I don't think it was filmed in Spain. There's not very many details with it. Um, it looks to be at some sort of festival. You can see those kind of festival bendy flags uh, in the picture. And the other thing is, is that the writing on those flags is in English. So again, if you know anything about this footage or where it was filmed, um, please do share in the comments or reach out to me for our Facebook site. It would be great to get some more details. Whether it was filmed in 2018 or uploaded from somewhere else onto Facebook in 2018, we will never know. Um, so that is the first thing that I need to share about this footage. So let's now get into the ACAR analysis. So the first A in ACART's model stands for Aerial Phenomenon and that's really exploring could it be some other type of aerial phenomenon, could we attribute it? Uh, if you're like me straight away when you started watching the footage uh, there was a few things that fired through my head, uh, fireworks. <clears throat> straight away it kind of looked like fireworks slowly coming down out of the sky. but as we'll come to later, probably very unlikely that it's fireworks. Uh, then it could have been some sort of um, cosmic sort of meteor rocks, uh, things like that, um, part of the space station or a satellite. And then again, you kind of have to omit that 
suggestion because it kind of stops in midair and usually falling debris or comets or meteorites don't come to a stop and you know the same uh, would could be said of fireworks because um, there there is fireworks that they've invented that now can seemingly stay static in the air or um, seemingly uh, move at a slow pace uh, but again uh, they can't move and then come to a stop as far as I'm aware so in terms of other aerial phenomena could it be a drone that the you know uh, has been designed to kick off certain kind of light or sparks that's a possibility maybe and uh, maybe it's multiple drones because we see multiple lights uh, later on in the footage and again I'll come to that later but drone is not uh, an impossibility but seems quite implausible and I think you would all agree with me um, so there's not much I mean it's certainly not a plane it's certainly not a helicopter or any other type of aircraft like that um, we don't get a sense of the speed that it's moving or the distance again it's always very difficult to catch that sort of thing in the night sky or when you're filming something against just a completely sky backdrop because there's no um there's no pointer to you know latch on to to kind of really get a sense of scale um, so that's always tricky when it comes into sort of you know and I suppose that is most UFO and UAP footage is usually filmed in the sky so again that's always why it's a little bit difficult but sometimes you can get landscape in the background or something that gives you a sense of scale um, and on this one it's a little bit tricky to, to kind of get that but I think under aerial phenomenon, um, there's not a lot that I can say that would immediately explain this phenomenon that you see in the footage. Right, and next we're on to the C in A carts, which stands for CGI. And straight off the bat, you know, you cannot discount this as CGI because it could easily be very very dumbed down simplest CGI that you can imagine um, and it could still achieve these kind of results the only thing that goes against CGI uh, and not again totally 100% but the fact that and in a minute we're going to talk about that second A in A cards audio but there is audio of people um, commenting about, oh, it's aliens, we're under attack. And so, unless that's all staged or the audio is dubbed on it afterwards, and again, this sounds like going to like lengths that really you would expect the footage to be, you know, jaw droppingly better than what it was if somebody was going to go to that effort to kind of hoax or fake it. So, for me, Again, CGI, not easily one to say, yep, that's what it is. Um, so again, a bit of a tricky one. I don't know. Oh, shit, you're breaking apart. So the second A in A carts, as I said, audio, and thought I would play some of the audio again for you. But as I just mentioned, you hear people commenting about um, I think there's a mention of UFOs. There's certainly, I hear somebody say, it's the aliens coming to get us. Um, and again, that could have easily been added afterwards, or the whole thing could be staged. Who knows? If you if you were coming at it as a complete skeptic, you could easily um, attribute how this could be staged. Um, but it's sort of there's something about that to me that doesn't. Uh, you know being a bit more open-minded um, I think the scripting would have been better if somebody was going to plant audio or something to support it uh, it sounds like the people are making a bit of a joke of it so again and, and then there's another thing that pops up and it's not so much the audio but really um, goes into that R um, in a carts model which stands for reaction and that is the fact that you know if you've noticed from the beginning part of the footage um, 
a lot of people seem to be looking up at the sky at this thing that, that you see in the shot and we hear people commenting um, about what they're seeing as well so again whether it was some sort of fireworks show that was pre-planned and that's why everybody was looking in that direction is what I'm kind of leaning towards um, you know I forgot to mention earlier on in the video when I was saying fireworks I was also thinking about flares as well when I first started watching it I thought well, maybe it's some sort of military flares or something like that because again they have the technology um, and have been adapted to kind of like slowly uh, fall from the sky so they can appear to be almost staying in place so again but you know it's, it, this one is a real tricky one because um, does the fact that everybody's looking at it support it or does it go against it I don't know this will be one that you guys will have to decide Okay, so we come on to the T, which stands for time and location. And I said earlier on in this video that um, this was shared on Facebook November 2018. Um, however, whether that was when it was filmed is unknown. There was no comments with the video, or at least the one that was shared uh, to me by Mickey Early. And uh, after having a little bit of a look around, I couldn't find it on another platform with anything more to explain it so don't know the location uh, although we've got a rough estimate of time so it's about three years old um, so that doesn't shed much light on to a further investigation unfortunately so if there's anybody out there that knows any more information or has uh, any ideas please please put it in comments and share and so then we come on to the very last part of a carts which is the s and that is for similar and similar is is there other footage out there like this um uh, have we seen similar phenomena and the answer is yeah um, there is quite a lot of stuff out there that looks like exactly like this almost um, with orbs that are splitting off um, slowly moving up or then moving down and moving up uh, the light at the beginning of this one ha splits off it seems like uh, one light splits off to two you can visibly see tails come off them that's why you would instantly think that whether it is cosmic um, you know like meteors or or you know just small little uh, comets um, or as I said like falling debris from from things like satellites but when it starts moving in different directions or slowing down that's when you have to discount that but you can clearly see some tails on the lights at the beginning until they stop and then the other lights appear um, so it's very different and unique in that way but I could have easily popped out some other footage and looked for it but I was doing this this vault and this video really quickly so um, but you know I'm sure you'll just have to take my word for it that you can play, find plenty of stuff out there that's similar to this um, so that either means that there's quite a common element of UFO or UAP sightings going on that we should really be interested in or it means that there's actually quite a valid explanation uh, for this one but nobody's just put their finger on it yet um, because it seems to be happening quite frequently so who knows but this footage is really really interesting to me um, really grabbed my attention about 15 seconds in um, I hope you've enjoyed it as well um, as always uh, look after each other and keep safe out there especially with these new variants kicking around and I'll see you next time on G-Star Vault uh, thanks very much guys and see you next time cheers bye